speak truth. We speak the word over ourselves this morning. He has plans to not harm you, but to prosper you. Amen. So we thank you, Father, this morning for all that you do and all that you continue to do. And this is just one big love song to you, Jesus, from beginning into the day. We just walk out those doors. And it doesn't quit. This is our story. This is our song. Praising the Savior. Amen. 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 into except what I do know is that there's an awesome wedding that we're going to celebrate. This friend of mine is getting, he's Indian, his name is Sandeep, he's getting married. And uh, and then after that wedding, we're just going to go out on the streets of India, in the, in the slum parts of India, and we're going to just wow. minister to the broken yes. and the poor and the rejected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, you know, God only gives us so much, so it's been a free invitation where it's like, here's an invitation to Vishikapatna. It's a southeast India on the east coast. And uh, yeah, 70% of India, what, um, the young man that, is, uh, that I've connected, there's two young guys that I've connected with around my age, that is, um, Sandeep and Nani. So Nani is the son of a pastor. And the past, his father was a Saul who became Paul. And he, he, he really, he was able to carry a gun in the streets because people feared this man. And in India, they don't they have strict gun laws. And for him to be a civilian to carry a gun was something. And his son's, this pastor now, his son was miraculously healed. 90% uh, of his body was burned. And Jesus completely healed this, uh, this, this, this man's son, right? And, uh, so... He gave his life to Jesus and became a pastor and the Holy Spirit said, the same place as you carried that gun, I want you to carry my word and the Bible in those same streets. And the people respect this man still in like in a way of like, like reverence, in a way of fear, you know, and it's just like, uh, oh man, I, we know you used to be Saul, basically. <laughs> it's like that Saul to Paul, like we saw you persecute, now you're loving. This is interesting. Uh, so 70% um, this church, the Chindala family, has eight churches and they, they, their statistics, they said the population of India, 70% are young adults, 30 and under, so millennials and Gen Z. So 700 million people are young adults. So that, to me, excites me of a whole nation could be changed in one generation. Oh, yeah. right? In 20 or 30 years. And I believe that if, you know, the spirit just out, pours out in that country, those will they'll actually not stay in India, they'll go into the ends of the earth as well. Seth, I, I'm not sure about how old, 700 million, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? But man, a large majority of only like, what do you say, 20, 50 million feel called to leave their country, to come to America, to go to South, all these Indians, you know, all around the world, all these Indian believers just spreading the gospel. There's 700 million wow. young adults. So there's a lot of harvest there, right? And it's like, you know, Lord send forth the laborers in, into the field. So that's, Stepping into that, so I just wanted to share that you guys would be praying for me. That's in two weeks. First time out of the state with uh, kind of like on my own in a way. I've got I'm in good hands with Sandy because I lived with him for two and a half years, and uh, and yeah. It, so and Nani's a good friend too. So I'm in real good care. I just uh, I would love it if you guys would cover me in prayer and uh, that miracles, signs, wonders, and proclamation of the gospel would already God's already gone before me. We just step in and just receive. Thank you. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Cool. That's, yeah, it is cool. <laughs> I just don't want to die. Get your, <laughs> get your McDonald's in before you go over there. Though. You're probably not going to get any, very many hamburgers over there. So. No. no, no. The, so. Food, the food is, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I don't want to get sick. But, uh, <laughs> what, 
what is curry, right? Get yeah. used to curry before you go. Yeah. Just a yeah. lot of curry food. It's when good. we go to uh, Trinidad, a lot of the population there is in, of Indian descent. So oh. sweet, sweet people. Very intellectual people. Oh, yeah. And uh, so you'll enjoy your time. Awesome. We'll be praying for you. Yeah. yeah. And, and pray for the leaders there. Sure. But like I said, the mind and you know, they are probably really, I guess some of the pastors uh, curse the people. Actually, they, they really, like God's going to, if you don't do this, this is the wrath. Or it's a really, they, they, they don't have a, a good revelation of his love. Yeah. You're preaching this morning. Yeah, I'm going to preach on that this morning. So your songs went along with that. That's what the pastors, I guess, are meeting over there too. Oh, really? Yeah. So well, maybe you can bring a revelation of grace. Huh? Yep. Yeah, hang around for a little bit so, right. so you can play for all under call. But you okay. can go ahead and say right. for a little bit. Thanks, Fanny.